Okay, in this video, we're going to be finding the equation of a line that goes through two particular points. And uh, in this example, we have the points negative 2, 2, and 10, negative 4. So, uh, one thing that I can do to uh, just kind of get an idea of what this is going to be like, just make a really fast little sketch. Negative 2, 2 is going to be like right there. 10, negative 4 is going to be like right there. So this is going to be... My line is going to look kind of like this, okay? So I can see right now that my slope is going to be uh, my slope is going to be negative, and uh, my y-intercept is going to be somewhere kind of close to the origin, okay? Now, let me clear up these terms that I'm talking about. Uh, we have found that almost every line can be written in the style in the uh, form of y equals mx plus b, okay? m is the slope of our line, and b is what we call the y-intercept, okay? And uh, we'll look at exactly what slope and y-intercept mean in a couple minutes. But uh, um, I said almost every line can be written this way. There is one type of line that cannot be written this way, and that is the line uh, the, the vertical line, okay? Vertical lines, the equation for vertical lines always look like x equals and then whatever number every single point on the line has for its x-coordinate. Uh, it can't be written y equals mx plus b simply because you don't have an m and you don't have a b, okay? All right, so let's get back to our problem. Uh, we have the equation of this line that goes to the points negative 2, 2 and 10, negative 4. Let me give you a surefire way that always works for finding the equation of this line. We're going to make a three column chart here. Okay? Let's put the first point here. Let's put the second point here. Okay? So here are our x coordinates, here are our y coordinates. First point is negative 2, 2. Second point is 10, negative 4. Okay? And uh, our slope, the slope, which is abbreviated by M, beats me why, have no idea. If you know why, please let me know, I would like to know. Uh, the slope is defined to be the change in Y divided by the change in X. That little triangle there means delta. It's a Greek letter meaning delta. Well, it's a Greek letter delta that means the difference, the difference in Y divided by the difference in X. Okay, so let's look at those differences. Uh, what happened to our x's here? We went from negative 2 to 10. Well, that's an increase in 12. Negative 2 plus 12 is 10. And what happened to our y's? We went from 2 to negative 4. That's a decrease of 6, because 2 minus 6 is negative 4. So our change in x is positive 12. Our change in y is negative 6. So this is going to be negative 6 over positive 12. And I believe I can reduce that to be negative one-half. Okay? So the slope of my line is negative one-half. Looking back here at the sketch of the line, think of it this way. The change in the x's can be drawn right like this. This is how much our x-coordinates increased. The change in the y's can be drawn like this. This is how much our y-coordinates decreased moving from this point to this point. So since this is negative 6 and this is positive 12, this is why our uh, slope is a negative number here, because it's this negative divided by this positive. Okay? So, now, so we found our slope, so now we just need to find out what the uh, y-intercept is. How do we do that? Well, <clears throat> take your slope, negative 1 half, and put it right here. Negative 1 half times x. And now, Let's just find out what negative one-half times x would be. Negative one-half times negative two is, uh, that's a negative times negative is positive, and one-half of two is one, so that's a positive one. Negative one-half times positive ten, negative times positive is negative, and one-half of ten is five. And now, look at the middle column. What do we have to add or subtract to this middle column in order to get our right column? 1 plus 1 is 2, and negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. So that means we add plus 1 to this column to get that, that column. Now, how does that help us? Because that means this thing is this thing, 
plus 1. This is negative 1 half x plus 1, and that is our formula. That is the equation to the line. Okay? y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. All right? Yes, that works every single time. Okay? Now, you're looking over here and you might be saying, yeah, well, what if I get a different answer here from what I got here? If that's the case, you screwed up when you uh, calculated your slope. Go back and calculate the slope again. Because if you do your slope correctly, you will get the exact same difference here as you do here. So the reason that I like this method is it's a, it's a way of sort of checking up on yourself as you're working out the problem. Uh, okay?